Good morning, afternoon, evening, in the middle of the night, everybody. This is a video to show you how to make a graph using Google Sheet. So here we have the data table that we will be um, creating during our lab on Monday. So as you can see, we have different time, right? We have all, all these time. And then I'm just going to make up some data. Let's say I use my dominant hand and I squeeze 30 times in the first 30 seconds. And then in between 30 and 60 seconds, I did... 28. I'm just going to make up some numbers, okay? You're going to watch this and you're, you're going to think, oh, this is, this bias is so weak. First off, I am. But also, these are just made up numbers, okay? So, so bear with me. All right. So I just made up some numbers over here. What you're trying to do in this um experiment is you you've done the experiment already right so, so you're trying to make a graph um to kind of present the data in a in a more user friendly uh, method right so so you can see the data and what the data means a little more easily so here's what you're going to do you're going to select all these data along with the titles okay so that that'll make your life a little bit easier and then you're going to do insert chart and nothing happened. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we did the insert chart and uh, this is what we came up with. Uh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change these up a little bit. I'm just gonna make, make these a little smaller. So I don't know, whatever numbers that you come up with is, is the numbers that you, are the numbers that you're gonna be using. But these are just made up numbers by me, okay? So as you can see, um, we already have kind of a, a title for the graph. You wanna change this to something a little bit more descriptive to the experiment, right? So dominant hand, non-dominant hand, that's not really a title. A title is supposed to be something that's representative of what you did at the, in this experiment, right? So if you say something along the line of, you know, number of squeezes of, of clothespin in however many minutes, that could be a much better title than the dominant hand and non-dominant hand. So make sure you change the title. You just write change the title right here. And then the graph uh, very conveniently already showed you two different lines, right? We have one line for the dominant hand and it shows you the change over time um, of the number of squeezes of the dominant hand and the change showed you the number of squeezes in non-dominant hand and the, the change of number of squeezes over time. But as you can see, we, we have an X axis and that's really nice, right? But we don't have any Y axis. So how do we fix that? On the right side, uh, you'll see the setup um, and customize. So I'm going to click on customize, and then this is what you will see. Um, and then if you click on the draw down menu of chart and access, access titles, uh, then you're able to change all different kinds of things of your graph. You can change the chart title, which is this change the title. You, you, can, you can click right here and change the title. That works too. But you can cl click right here and change the title. You can even change the color of the title. You can do all kinds of things. So you can do that. Um, chart subtitle, we don't need that. Um, we already have a horizontal axis, which is the, the one running left to right. That's our X axis. Uh, it's time. We already did that. That's great. So now we need to add a vertical axis title. So let's give it a title. We can do a number, well, it's an all caps of squeezes of clothes <laughs> over time. But that will be fine. Something along that line, but make, make it your own. Don't just copy mine because that's boring. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, so that's it. That's, that's your graph, right? Um, you don't need any of these. You don't need a trend line. A trend line is a straight line. You don't need that. Uh, legend. We already got that X and Y axis. We already got those. Um, so this looks pretty good, right? So if you're comparing these two lines, you're able to see your dominant hand, uh, my dominant, my made up dominant hand squeeze more times than my non-dominant hand um, over time. And also the number of squeezes decreased over time. So you, you can think about how that's related to aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration and how muscle fatigue happens. Okay. So then uh, you need to copy and paste this graph, right? So you can click on this graph. You can do, well, you can do Command-C 
if you're using a Mac or control C if you're using um, a PC. Okay, so you copy and then when you go to your Google Doc, you just do command V or control V. I think everybody knows how to copy and paste at this point, right? Um, oh, or you can even click on these three little dots. Oh, and you can do copy chart and then you can paste it into your lab report. I need to see this graph on your lab report, okay? And then you also need to see this graph, right? Because this is a, a, a better interpretation of the data than just the data itself, all right? So I uh, hope you enjoy the lab. I will see you someday if you're not my student. Bye.